back to my channel and a happy Halloween. October is here. Super excited about it. I decided to do this skull face thingy. I want it to be melting, skin to be coming off, and I wanted to incorporate a skull because skulls are super original. Just kidding. You got your skin melting. You got your skull. Glamorous side. You got your, uh, your edges not laid at all, but you know what? It's fine. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're gonna start off with the glam side of the face. I'm just gonna fill in my brows, and I want everything to look really sharp and clean, so I'm making my brows look that way as well. And then, of course, you want to put down an eyeshadow base. I'm using MAC Soft Ochre, and I'm gonna apply that under the brow to sharpen it, and then also all over the lid and crease, and just blend that out. Next, you wanna make sure to set your base. So I'm using Max Blanc Type all over the lid, crease, and brow bone because this is also going to be our lid color as well. Next, you wanna apply your transition shade. So any warm brown color, this is Burnt Orange by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm just gonna take that into my upper crease on the outer part of the eye and also take it all the way to the inner corner. To darken that, I'm gonna be using Carity Shadow in the shade Safe Word, and this is just gonna make it pop a little bit more. Now I'm going to move on to the wing before I deepen the crease even more just to give me a better guide and I'm using my Inglot Gel Liner to create a very sharp, dramatic wing. Gotta work it out, work it out. See, I start thin and then slowly you just kind of build it up. There we go. And I'm going to take a pencil brush with some black eyeshadow now and connect the outer part of the wing to the outer crease area. And then take a blending brush after you do the harsh line just to kind of smoke it out a little bit. Make sure it's nice and blended. Put on some lashes. These are Knockout by House of Lashes. And then picking up a white eyeliner pencil. I'm kind of bouncing around here. I decided to just give myself the outline that I want of the drips and also just where the skin turns into the skull. And I use a white pencil because it's easy if you mess up. Boom wipe it off, boom, wipe it off, change your mind at any time and it's not a big deal, which I did a few times. I'm gonna go ahead after that and apply foundation to my more glam side. You can do this part before the white pencil too, it might be a little bit easier, but you know, I was on the fly with this video, so I'm just going with whatever my mind tells me at the time. And then I'm just gonna apply some concealer, this is the NARS Creamy Concealer in Ginger, and then setting it with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Going back into the Burnt Orange shadow, I'm going to apply that on the lower lash line. And then taking some white eyeliner, I'm going to open up the eyes with this and continue to smoke out that lower lash line with some black eyeshadow as well. So in a second here, I'm about to have a change of heart. I really thought I wanted that like more doll look with the white, but then I decided I wanted a more smoky look, so I took the white liner off and switched it out for a black coal liner just to make it look a little bit more smoky so that it would match up with the skull side better once I was finished. Taking the same lashes that I used on the top lashes, I'm flipping them upside down, I cut them up and I stuck them on the lower lash line. Dipping into my Mayron face paint palette, which I'll link down below, I'm going to pick up some paint. Um, I you know, started with gray, but I think starting with black is just as good. You can put the darkest color in any curves, so like you see here, I decided to go in with black. And then I use my finger to smudge it out. It just makes it easy to blend for me this way so that it looks like I have depth in all those curves. You always wanna put the darkest shade in the curves of your drips and then lightly gradiate it out um, so the center looks more hollow. You just have more depth and it actually looks like those drips are coming off of your face. All right, and I actually decided to keep this part in because I didn't really like the way the drips were looking. I decided I wanted to make them a little bit thinner, so I went in and outlined them uh, with a small detail brush and made them just a little bit thinner the second time around. I kept that part in because it's real life and sometimes you don't like what you create, especially when you don't practice the video before you film it. This is just me on the go, so I'm now making them a little bit thinner, keeping a makeup wipe next to me just in case there's something that I don't like easy to wipe away and then do it again and then fill them in just like I showed you the first time I just didn't want to do that step again <laughs> taking that little detail brush I'm gonna fill in the nostrils of the skull and kind of put little dots around your drips so that it looks like your skin is slowly deteriorating so you have like little holes of skin missing missing flesh 
taking a black coal liner and I'm going to start working on the skull side of the eye, filling in the water line and making sure that no lash line peeks through once I apply this. You can cover your brow if you want. I did with some concealer because my brows are really light or you could just paint black right over your brows if you have thicker brows and you don't feel like covering them. I'm just going to fill in the whole eye with black face paint and set it with black eyeshadow. And you can see there that I left a little bit of flesh peeking through because I'm going to use white to highlight that later for more depth on the eye socket. Now I'm taking my white face paint and basically filling in the whole skull side. I like to really start with my cheekbones and giving myself that skeletal shape and that way I have a better idea without using black where the skeleton part of the face will be and then anywhere that there's hollows like my cheekbones where I usually contour I know that that's going to be black so as you guys can see I'm not filling that in with the white. While I'm here I'm just going to go ahead and add a little white highlight to the center of these hollows over here. Now I'm taking a detail brush and further sketching out my skeletal shape. I just find it's easier to do this with white than with black. That way, like I said earlier, if you mess up, you can just wipe it away and you're good to go. So once you know that you have your skeletal shape going on, you just want to take the white face paint and kind of make sure everything is super white and fill everything in nice and neat. And now that I did that, I can safely go in with the black knowing that I have my shape down already so I'm just gonna kinda fill in all that negative space so you know you wanna fill in the temple and then also the mouth area here I'm just filling it all in with black and this part you just wanna make dark and then fade it towards the teeth you know it's easy to use your finger for that just kinda take your finger and fade the black into this teeth area here and now for the teeth I'm just following the shape of my own teeth with a fine detail brush and black face paint I watched uh, Crispy's video because she makes teeth look so easy. If you want a better teeth description, go to her video. I still can't get it right, but I tried my best, so um, definitely check hers out. She's like queen of skulls. Then with very little face paint on my brush, I decided to give myself more of a tooth-like shape. So in my mind, I was thinking Hershey Kiss, Hershey Kiss, Hershey Kiss, trying to draw that out as my tooth shape and then filling in the gaps between the teeth with some black eyeshadow to give it more depth. Now that you have the base of the skull, it really comes to life with shadowing, so look at a picture of a skull and kind of try to mimic that skull's shadows with any matte brown eyeshadow that you have. I took a pencil brush first and then really went in with a blending brush to gradiate all those edges, make the eye socket look like it's popping out, make the jawline look like it's popping out. Just always have a picture of reference nearby and it makes it so much easier because right now our skull is really flat and it doesn't look that exciting but once you start shadowing it with an eyeshadow it really brings it to life and that's what makes a skull look really cool so just look at a picture and try to follow it as best as you can and also make sure you shadow anywhere where the skin meets the skull because you want depth there as well and then lastly I'm going back into that hollow that I left over here in the eye and hitting it with some white face paint same thing with the nose area now it's time for the fun part. This is the Mayron 3D Flesh Gel. You're going to want to heat this up. Make sure you read the directions. All you're going to do is pour the gel along all the drips that you've made yourself. So where you see the skin looks like it's dripping, that's where I concentrated the majority of the gel. And then also put it randomly in certain areas once I was done. It's really all like what you see and what you like and how the drips are falling. But it's so easy. Honestly, this side of the face that makes it look really cool is probably the easiest part. The skull to me was the hardest part, but this side is really actually pretty fun and easy and you don't have to worry about the gel because it dries and once it dries, you can talk, you can, you know, do whatever you want and it's just going to stay there. So it's comfortable is what I'm saying. And just a warning, you might want to have a towel on your lap when you're doing this because it pretty much just got everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> and that's it, guys. That's pretty much it. You just have to wait for it to dry. All right, guys. So that is it for this tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. And I'll see you guys in my next video.